Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and in today's video, by popular demand, I am going to be uh, showing you guys how I lay out our 116 quart tubs. Um, and like I said, these are a little shorter. So the tubs are 33 inches this way, so long. <laughs> 22 in, 20 inches wide and 13 and a half inches tall. So this is a almost 30 gallon tub, which is good. Uh, it's plenty of space for them. But as I was saying in one of my other videos, what I need to do is I need to make sure that they're able to use as much elevation as possible. And I need to make sure that there's enough climbing opportunities and things like that. Um, so that it's not, while it is very short, um, so that it's not the end of the world for them and that they can still get in like proper exercise and things like that So let's go ahead jump right into the video start laying out this tub and we'll just go from there All right, so the first thing I'll be using is pool noodles. Um, I think these are Four foot tall pool noodles. Maybe no, that's not right. This these are five foot probably I don't know So probably five foot tall pool noodles ish um and then what I'm gonna do with these is I'm going to put, I'm gonna cut these at certain points to where they fit perfectly in the tub. And then these will be uh, kind of the climbing opportunities and things like that. And then I have some other things I'm gonna show you that I bought that'll lay out these tubs pretty nicely. So first thing you need, pool noodles. Okay, so what I do is I take the pool noodle and as you can see on this side, it's coming like right to, to here, right to the edge on the inside of it. And then on this side, what I do is I'll just kind of grab it about right here and then I just tear it. So just like that and then boom, it fits perfectly. So now what I can do with this is I can kind of put it um, lower. I can move it higher if I'd like. So the next one I do will be a little bit longer just because I want it to be super snug. I'll keep this one closer to the ground and that'll kind of tighten it up. So there we go. And then let's go ahead and I'm going to lay out all of them until I feel like it's enough and then we'll go from there. So here's a side angle of what it's going to look like. So as you can see, a uh, big emphasis on elevations, right? And kind of going through here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out the foliage and the vines and show you how I put that in. For foliage this time, I'm going to be using a six foot piece of Fluker's English Ivy Reptivine. Highly recommend this stuff. Uh, English Ivy is great, so is the Pothos. Uh, English Ivy just happened to be cheaper this time and I bought, I think like 10 of them. So I kind of wanted it to be cheaper. And then the other thing that I bought for the first time is some of this Benda Branch, uh, Fluker's Benda Branch stuff. This also, really cheap. Uh, I got everything from Chewy. Uh, Chewy has a really good Fluker section. You can use Amazon if you'd like. I use uh, Chewy because it takes PayPal and PayPal's what my business is through. So it's easier just for me to keep track of it that way. Um, but here, let me, I guess I'm gonna unwrap this for you. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've never got this uh, Repti or Bendivine before. Um, this is pretty thin. Um, I'm still gonna use it and put it in there, but this is not, I'm trying to see if I have a vine, I don't. Um, this is not kind of the vine I was wanting, I was maybe, this was a medium I think. I don't know, I'm not sure. So these vines will not work. Um, for bigger females, but I think for some of my smaller males, this might be fine if I kind of, here, if I kind of lay it out in a way where it's somewhat doubled, they can climb on that. So this gives me, it's a six foot piece, so I'm really going to use three foot of it, which is fine. Um, yeah, it's fine. So let's go ahead now and I'm going to put the vine in and I'm going to put in the ivy and show you guys what that's going to look like. Ooh. 
So here is the side view of it now with a little bit of branch put in there. And then here is the bottom view or top view, sorry. Top view of everything looking down on it. So one thing that I have decided uh, for these tubs is I'm gonna put in like, like this much dirt, like just enough dirt for springtails to kind of culture and live along with the lay boxes in there. And the only reason for that uh, truly is, is because I, I go through a lot of paper towels, honestly, like way too many paper towels. So I just think that trying to make it um, like a bioactive tub of sorts while still keeping it light enough for me to lift it, you know, from five high, uh, or from, I guess, I guess a little over six foot high. Um, I kind of need that. So I want to make it, like I said, as light as possible, but I think that my paper usage is kind of ridiculous. So that's the plan. So I'm going to add that now. And I just kind of want to see what it looks like, what it feels like. I'm only going to do it to the first five, uh, my first five tubs. So what I'll do now is now that I showed you guys how to set that one up, I'm going to set up the other tubs and then I'll kind of show you guys what the finished product of the room is going to look like. So let's, you'll see me next clip when it's done. All right guys, so here we are the next day and I have all the tubs set up as you can see. So, and I'm going to be moving the geckos into some of these tubs right now. So you guys kind of see who's going and where, but then I did another thing too. Okay. So here's what we did. We have four of them now. So it can hold 20 tubs or 20 116 quart tubs. Right now, these right here, these are 64 quart tubs. Um, the Home Depot was out of these tubs. So I just have to wait till they get some more in and I can buy more. I do have two more of those that I'm gonna finish up today and put them uh, over here. But then we also have two more over here. All right, so the room is done. Here's all of our racks. I am gonna have to take down the ceiling fan. As you can see, it's useless now, but that's okay. Not really too worried about that. Um, but yeah, so we have here four racks with five tubs each. Uh, right now, most of the tubs are still the 65 to six or 64 to 66 quart tubs. I am slowly in the process of upgrading to all of these 112 quart tubs. They're just kind of uh, hard to find in their Saying that they're pricey, they're just a little hard to find. So, yeah, that is the uh, update, guys. The only thing that we have left to do is on this wall right here. We have, we're gonna either add, uh, we're probably gonna put one more in the line so there'll be five racks in this room. And then we'll put two racks here. That'll open up another 15 potential gecko slots. And I don't know what we're gonna fill those with. I don't know if those are just gonna be crusties or what we're gonna do, but that is the plan. It's 15 more of those. And then I'll turn you around over here. So now over here, I'm gonna take that mirror down for sure. But here we have four gargoyles, uh, three females, and then the males on the smaller one. And then we have our three lychees right here. I'm still unsure if they're gonna go on the rack or if I'm gonna keep them all stacked like this for, for a while at least. Um, this doesn't bother me. Too bad, I may end up getting another rack, potentially, I'm not quite sure. But what I wanna do on this wall is I actually wanna put the baby racking system. Uh, I am gonna purchase a baby racking system. It's not that over there, that's a, that's a project for a video to come. <laughs> um, but yeah, so baby rack over here. All right guys, that is gonna wrap up the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Um, I hope you, if you like my gecko room, comment down below you like it. Maybe I can give you guys a tour of it and open up. I should do a video where I open up every single tub. It'd be like 35 minutes, but be a good video, right? So if you guys want that video, comment that down below. Um, if not, just comment to say hello. I love talking to you guys. But uh, until next time, guys, stay safe and stay positive.